All right, guys, this is Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dog's Port. And just like the thumbnail picture says, it's the trick flow stock box R versus Big Dog's regular stage three coat with the extended neck. Now, you guys um, are very interested in our stage threes on the GT40 style manifolds that consist of the tubulars, the explorers, and the Cobra style. Whether it's for um, the conventional Fox body or the SN95s. And those particular manifolds, stage threes, we're gonna talk about the stage threes. Um, those manifolds just wanted to clear the air. Um, they don't necessarily come standard with the runner lengths and other modifications performed to it. Uh, often and pretty much most of the time when a customer requests a stage three on the GT40 style um, manifolds, we'll get some combo information. Things like motor displacement, you know, how big is the motor? Um, RPM that the motor is going to be used on. Um, the desired horsepower. Things of that nature. Um, that information will dictate how we port the regular stage three. Now, you know, of course, uh, by now you guys should know we are offering a uh, BRD stage, which is pretty much you get the works with the, the manifolds. Now, the BRD, you can't get the BRD and the Cobra. And the reason why is because the throttle body tunnel, um, you can only open it up even with welding, which we did on this one, but this, this has a 80 millimeter throttle body tunnel, but the BRDs, they all get 90. Um, but you can only open this up so much because of it's designed. It's design is narrow. So although we can open it up to an 80, um, making the throttle body tunnel to a 90 really won't gain any more throttle body tunnel um, CFM. There's a difference between the throttle body opening size versus the actual tunnel size. You know, um, a lot of people think, well, I'll just make this uh, 80 millimeter, 90 millimeter, whatever, and that's going to increase the flow. No, the restriction is up in here and you have to know what you're doing, have the right amount of equipment and um, a, a way to measure your progress. And we just don't recommend people doing, you know, this kind of work at home because these manifolds are, are nice looking manifolds and we've, you know, seen a lot of people mess these manifolds up and send these manifolds to us to get fixed, repaired, and ported the right way. So we just tell people, listen, just go ahead, you know, um, spend the money, send it to the professionals, and let us do our thing. That way you can enjoy your manifold and not, you know, mess it all up. But this particular stage three, um, it's going on a stroker motor. And the motor's gonna see higher RPMs. So this one, um, the runner length is 11 inches. So we measure the runner length from 
the plenum all the way down to the lower exit into the head. We measure the top and the bottom and then divide it by two to get the average. Um, same thing with the trick flow. Now you have a lot of manufacturers that will, will advertise a runner length on their manifolds. And when we measure them, we actually measure them the way we do, um, they're off a little bit. For instance, people think that the System Max 2s, that they're around, you know, um, 13 inches uh, long, average runner length. They're actually not. When you take and measure all eight runners and then average them out, the System Max 2 runner length, average runner length, is actually um, 14.25, and that's what I was spacing. 14.25, like 14.35, what I was spacing. Okay? So, that's what we actually measure. And it kind of makes sense because when you look at a typical System Max 2 um, RPM curve on, you know, a nice decent motor, it's not going to pull the upper RPM horsepower like a Box R or a Victor 5 And the reason why is because the, the runners are, you know, uh, slightly longer. Plus, of course, it doesn't flow as much as as those two manifolds. But still, the runner length on the System Max 2 is um, it's um, slightly longer than people think. Um, that's why we measure everything. You know, we see hundreds of System Max 2s and many box R's and many Victor 5s. We see tons of everything. Um, but we have the Box R and the Stage 3 Cobra head to head. And you guys are wondering, there's no way this regular 80 millimeter Stage 3, even though it has more work done on the neck, and that's due to it going on a stroker application, there's no way that's going to compete with this 90 millimeter box R. This is a racing manifold. See how tall it is? It's a racing manifold. This is a factory manifold that's been ported. Now it's been ported very, very well, but it's been ported. Still factory. And you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. The Box R will make more power than this regular stage three. This Box R total flow, when you look at the bullet together flow, when you look at the throttle body tunnel flow, by it being a 90 millimeter versus the 80, it's going to flow more CFM. So, there you go. <laughs> to answer your question, yes, the Box R will make more peak horsepower and it will make, you know, um, more overall horsepower. But, but, You can get a regular stage three on any GT40 style manifold. It fits under a stock hood as long as you don't run a spacer. Even if you run a spacer, you can run a one inch spacer on these and it still fits up under a stock hood. Versus this one, you have to run the spacer adapter that allows you to run the box R on the long one of R's lower. And you have to do a lot of modifications to a stock hood to get it on there. 
to get the clothes. A lot of guys don't want to hack up and beat up their stock hood. And also, these box R's are very, very expensive. Very expensive. And depending on, you know, when you're looking for one or where you're trying to get it, a lot of times they're out of stock. Versus this, you can get this anytime. You can go to the junkyard, get you an Explorer GT40 manifold. Send to us stage three or BRD. So, this test, this flow test that we're going to, to show you guys, um, it's just an eye opener because you have many options out there, many options, but it comes down to availability and price. And we had a customer that he had a stage three Cobra, actually just like this. He had the, the neck, the extended neck that was worked at material. It was an 80 millimeter and his runners were not as short as this one because initially when he told us his combo he said the vehicle was going to be primarily a street vehicle so you know we wanted to keep the low end torque so we made his runners around 12 inches long or 12 12 and a quarter and initially he ran a one inch spacer um but then took that off he was able to take that off and he ran that shorty headers with some drag radials his combo had a T56 trans and he took it to a Mustang dyno and it made right around 400 horsepower to the wheels and 420 foot pounds of torque to the wheels with shorty headers and then just for test purposes he got a ported box R and this was a later date got a ported box R put the ported box R on and I believe he had a street tire on this time long tube headers he got some custom long tube headers with the ported box R test and Mustang Dino little bit of tuning um, both of them was tuned pretty well and the box R made what was it 420 real horsepower and something like 420 something foot pounds of torque if I can if I can remember like 426 or something like that foot pounds of torque so basically it was about a five or six percent power increase but he did say that the stage 3 Cobra drove a lot better on the street versus his ported box R now we weren't doing the BRD porting back then so um his combo was a 363. It was a mild 363 with a mild camshaft. Very mild camshaft. I think the thing idled at 750, 800 RPM um, with AC and fully loaded. So that was pretty good. You know, a lot of people said, it, you know, our, 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 Stage three Cobra wasn't going to make the power that it made, and and you can't get that kind of flow from the GT40 style manifolds and yada yada yada. You, you guys, you guys have seen the, the 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 naysayers, and I'm pretty sure they're not naysayers anymore. You even had a lot of 
you know, um, content creators, um, they said the same thing. Um, but now, since, you know, they've seen the results, um, they're, they're singing a, a different tune. So, um, there you guys have it. There you guys have it. You guys have plenty of options. And pretty much, we've poured it well over, shoot, 6,000, 7,000 parts now over the years. Have over 5,000 customers as of this video. Um, we've poured this on everything. And we get a lot of volume. We get a lot of volume because we receive and we ship internationally. So we have customers all over the place. We have customers. We just sent some parts to customers in Puerto Rico. You know, we have customers in Australia. We have tons of customers in Canada. Customers all over the U.S. From Maine to California to Texas, Georgia to, you know, Colorado. So... We're, we're pretty good when it comes to making power and saving money. So, if you guys want to see more content, want to see more tests, just go ahead and um, let us know in the message section. Shoot us a, a, a message on the um, Facebook business page or... YouTube channel pretty much you want to see it flow tested chances are we have examples here or on file so once again this is Lamont Tony over here at Big Dogs Port see you guys at the track so we have the trick flow Box R, stock box R, loaded up on the flow bench, and we're going to be flowing the number three runner, which is one of the straight runners on this. You see, it comes directly from the throttle bar tunnel. Let's see what this does. <laughs> Two ninety one CFM. Two ninety one CFM. Now we have the regular stage three Cobra GT forty Cobra. We're doing the number three. See, it's all blocked up as well as the back back there. This one has the expanded neck modification, um, but it's still a 80 millimeter throttle body opening and tunnel. Let's see what it does. Two hundred and eighty-eight, two hundred and eighty-nine CFM, and that's this run number three. Now, this stage three has been shortened um, to eleven inches, so it's right about here, from here on down. Uh, because this is going on a stroke motor and he wants to turn high RPM. So, this is not our BRD. Uh, we don't do BRDs on the Cobras due to the throttle body tunnel um, being too narrow. 
to actually get a 90 millimeter effective flow on my BRDs. Um, the throttle body tunnel flows over um, 1,250 CFM. So they're usually around 1,200, between 1,250 to 1,325 CFM on a throttle body tunnel, as well as the maximum uh, runner shorter, shorter runners that uh, we can get on those type of manifolds. The GT40 family manifolds and all of the aftermarkets.